Yes, uh, for those who know uh, Burgemeester Snijders, and uh, also knew he would come today, I'm not a complete makeover, but as you said, I'm the deputy mayor. Unfortunately, he was not able to make it at the last moment, and he asked me to address his speech to you. And of course, I will do that with great pleasure. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first edition of TEDx in the most welcoming city of Haarlem. In the context of the quest of today, new values for new economies, I would like to rephrase a famous quote. It is not the economy, stupid. It's that what we do with it. There's much more to it than the market alone to make the world go round. It's what we, the people, make of it. Ideas worth spreading. That's the spirit of TED. And the effort to make it happen is what really counts. It's we who change the way we see and do the things we do. It's fresh ideas and a lot of effort that made an abandoned industrial shipyard to become this theater for innovation. It's ideas and a lot of effort that will get us ahead. Since Lehman Brothers went bankrupt in September 2008, we are in the time of turbulence and uncertainty. Some say it's the worst financial crisis for over a century, caused by greed. Too many risky deals were made without thinking about the consequences. Now, we are midway a roller coaster ride, and not even the specialists know what lies ahead of us. The interbank market has dried out because of the loss of trust. Companies vanished from the scene. People are losing their trust in politics and in the economic system. Governments worldwide are forced to take corrective action, trying to save banks and companies from crashing. And tax taxpayers in Europe will feel the effects of the crisis for a long time to come. Many people argue that we are asking the wrong question about the financial crisis we're in. Instead of asking when will it be over, we should be asking how will it change us. Let me, as deputy mayor of a town known for innovations and its pioneering spirit, today join those who are calling for a better economy. Today, here in Haarlem, it's our chance to inspire and get inspired, to look for new values to sustain our economy and society. Is the local economy of the future a green economy? How can we arrange the economy to work for the real interest of public? What roles can local companies play and how about their social responsibility? Can we take a new approach in looking at the value of work, a new approach to the socially most valuable jobs, the jobs that keep our communities and families together and in which the market too often undervalues or overlooks. Haarlem has a lot to offer. Haarlem is the epicenter of many great developments. It's a place where science and culture prospers. From the remarkable pioneering spirit of Anthony Fokker, who 100 years ago circled his home-built aircraft, the spin, the spider around the St. Bavo church, all the way up to the famous Haarlemmer Oli, a lotion or potion that fixes all. Haarlem is a town where connectivity has always been an issue, from the first tow canal and railway up to the world-changing event of the printing press made possible by Laurens Janssen Koster. And it's still expanding from print to pixel. A world-changing event that started with a leisure walk in our beautiful Haarlemmer Hout. And although there are some scholars that point to Gutenberg as the first European inventor of the printing press, it was in Haarlem 
where the most notable books were published by the likes of Hadrianus Julius, Kornhert, Van Mander, and Emsing. Haarlem's cultural life prospers ever since the work of painters like Frans Hals, Van Ruisdaal, and an architect like Lieven de Keij, up to the homemade productions of our toneelschuur and the cultural spring we have today. One of the most attractive inner cities in the Netherlands, all the way up to the Lichtfabriek. Haarlem has a most remarkable potential and richness of all sorts of creative young entrepreneurs who dare to inspire us with concrete examples and practices of bold ideas. Plus the smile brought to you by Frans Hals, our most famous painter, who actually was among the first to put a smile on the face in many of the portraits he painted. Ladies and gentlemen, as you hear, it's too much to mention. When we ask ourselves, can we create sustainable actions in politics and the economy? Can we rebuild trust? Can we set the right incentives to greater social benefits? And what can the local government do? Should we interfere? Should we act at all? Let's take inspiration from the investigation spirit the dare to think with a different attitude, and the great interest Harlem scholars, artists, and scientists have always taken in the exploration of the world and in the way it turns. The oldest museum in the Netherlands, the, Netherlands, the Tyler's Museum, can give you, give you ample proof. Let's, in the middle of a crisis, not forget that pre precious times often trigger some new, and we are not new to this. Haarlem was once the epicenter of the tulip mania. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's act in the spirit of Bolster, a Haarlem-based company which I now freely quote, with sharpness and focus in our goals, and with the courage to become and stay successful I wish you get inspired and let Haarlem put a smile on your face. I wish you a great TED. Thank you. <laughs>